everybody, it's Ella again, and I'm going to do my second ever video, which is going to be my Christmas gift and also uh, a pretty good Boots beauty haul, which I think would quite interest you. I wasn't sure whether I was going to do this video. I'm not trying to show off all the things I got. My friends and family got me some really nice stuff and I love them. So thank you very much. I've seen quite a few people do this and it's always really interesting to see what people got for Christmas, um, what kind of things people like. Um, is it just that I'm really nosy? I don't know. Uh, I am. But I think there is something quite exciting about, you know, just seeing hauls and seeing what other people like. So if you think so too, then you'll probably like this video. So I'm going to start off with what my dad got me. I did actually ask for four things you've probably seen already if you read my blog or if you follow me on Facebook. I got four of the fall uh, Riri Hearts Mac goodies, as you can see here. They were bought in October. <laughs> they were pretty expensive for four items only. So I picked up um, the powder blush, or it's, a, it's really a powder blush duo, in Hibiscus Kiss. A recent thing about me is that I really love rose gold all of a sudden. So the packaging is just gorgeous, as you can see. This really is a blush bronzer duo by the looks of things. As you can see here, it's got the old bronzer here and like a blush here. Um, it's really, really pretty. Uh, and it's got Riri signature on it, if you can see that there. Really pretty. I also got the uh, cream colour base in diamonds. Um, this is a really lovely colour, I must say. I really do like it. However, I'm not sure if it suits my skin tone or if it shows up enough for me. It's absolutely lovely. It doesn't really look a lot in the pan, but it is gorgeous. I'm going to try ways of uh, applying it at different brushes, experiment with it a bit, but I'm not wowed by it. Uh, which is a shame because it's not cheap. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. Uh, it was a beautiful day when I started filming. However, uh, the heavens have opened. The other two things I got were the kind of cornerstone of the collections, which is, of course, Riri Woo. And I got the Riri Woo uh, lip gloss to go with it as well. These are really pretty. Um, they look lovely layered on top of each other. Um, I still prefer Russian Red. Uh, Russian Red, if you've read my blog, you'll know it's my go-to red. It's absolutely gorgeous. It gives the same kind of matte, classic red finish. But for me, it's not quite as drying. This was pretty dry. And Russian Red's possibly a smidgen darker. So it might depend on your skin tone, which you prefer. But I like Russian Red, but these are still gorgeous. So thank you, Daddy. He also got me, which is bizarre because I've never known him to buy me perfume before, DKNY Delicious Night. This is really nice actually i was surprised it's very heavy um so really yeah you're really going to want to wear it at night it's got a really different scent from when like when you first spray it to when it kind of dries up it gives a completely different undertone uh which so that's really really nice it smells a little bit along the lines of if you like Dior's original Addict or if you like Opium. Um, it's that kind of scent, but it's not quite as heavy. It's a little bit lighter and a little bit more fruity. So that's really, really nice. Moving on to what some of my friends got me. Um, I had a few homemade presents this year, which was really lovely. Uh, my friend Hannah homemade some sticky onion marmalade and it comes in this little hat with a little label on and it's ever so cute. I haven't tried it yet um, because I'm having a cheese and wine party for my birthday later on in the month and I want to uh, save it till then. Um, and I don't think it's gonna last very long. To be honest, I do like a little bit of onion marmalade, I've got to say, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. Thank you very much, Hannah. Oh, hailstones now. Of course. So sticking with the homemade preserves theme, um, my friend Vicky and her husband made lots of lovely jam. I got some last year. I had plum and raspberry last year and that was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was ever so slightly tart, so uh, it wasn't too um, sweet. I think this one is definitely raspberry. I think it's raspberry and blackberry. This I'm looking forward to trying as well. I had hers last year with some camembert and it was stunning. So thank you very much, Vicky. Along the homemade, kind of route. She also made me some homemade lavender and lemon bath bombs. They smell really nice. You can even smell them through here and I'm quite looking forward to trying these actually. Um, these should be pretty nice. So 
As if that wasn't enough, she also got me a lovely nail art kit. Look at all this. It comes with like six nail varnishes and nail art pens and gems and foils and printing and like a DVD to tell you what to do and I possibly some glitter. It's just mental. Um, she had a smaller nail design set which I borrowed for the longest time and actually never got around to using because I forgot I had it. And she was like, oh yeah, can I get that back from you? And the day I gave it back to her, she was just like yeah Merry Christmas and I opened this so thank you very much Vicky I'm really looking forward to trying this out um but I don't know where to start there's so much choice and wow if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on Facebook look out for some nail design ideas okay my neighbour Debbie got me some really nice smelling orange well orange scented soap really posh soap it looks really nice it smells gorgeous uh, and it's huge look at the size of that how am I going to get through all of this um so yeah this should be good fun to use I can't stop smelling it now <laughs> mm, yeah it's really nice so thank you very much for that Debbie obviously there's a little bit of a theme going on here as you can see our friend Jackie well my mum and I uh she's our friend got me a little set of lush goodies so I've got uh, three bath bombs Two of them are like <laughs> a bit crumbly. They smell amazing. They smell like, like palm of violets. And then this big green one. I've not actually tried Lush's stuff before ever. Oh, I tried some eye cream once and I really liked it, but I'm not really sure what happened to it. But I'm really excited to try all this out. I also got the Whoosh Shower Jelly, which smells like, it smells a little bit like, uh, like lemon and, like a lemon and lime sherba or like a sour sweet or something it's really really nice and um i may use this later actually but the other thing she also got was the uh one of the charity pots and 100 percent of this goes to good causes apart from vat obviously um this has a delicious chocolatey scent i have tried it it does smell divine it's a little bit runny um but it smells great and um it does make your skin really really soft so that's really nice and the other one was a uh the imogen rise gorilla perfume again this is all covered in bits of puff bomb and now so on my hands it's a rose type perfume it's a solid perfume but it is a bit strong for me um so i may give it a go but a very strong scents sometimes do give me a bit of a headache so i'm going to give this a go but i have a feeling it's going to be a bit too strong for me but obviously this is a really lovely gift um I'm looking forward to using all of this. I don't know how I'm going to get through all this bath stuff that I got through. I'm literally going to have to be having a bath every other hour just to be able to finish all of this this year. Moving on, my friend Chloe got me a really cool necklace. Uh, I'd actually seen one of these in like a silver shade and I was going to buy it, but I was like, no, I need to get all my Christmas present buying out of the way with first. Uh, and then when I opened this, I was just like, what are the odds? As you can see, uh, it says makeup haul. So <laughs> yeah, that is what I am uh good stuff so i was gonna buy that for myself she bought it for me we've been best friends for 17 years she knows she knows uh last but not least for my friend is my best friend josie um josie and i always get each other body shop stuff she used to work there like 10 years ago ever since then we've been in love with the body shop so we always 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 get something for each other every year uh this year i got the atlas mountain rose cube uh that's got the bath and shower gel and uh, a bath lily and the body lotion in it uh this smells amazing so that's cool thank you josie um she also saw how much i've been getting into all this crafting and really been enjoying cards making so she got me a set of stencils these are really cool actually uh, as you can see there's 18 stencils and they come with note cards envelopes uh, you've got some instructions on how to do things um i don't know if you can see how that yet but you've got your invited love you thank you there's some birds here and oh, and a bee by the looks of things um this looks really cool i need to do my invitations for my party so i'm going to use the you're invited thing uh for it so once that's done i might give you a sneak peek and see how it's got to good use so my uncle and aunt got me um uh one of those lancome mascara and eyeliner and uh eye makeup remover sets uh, and it was absolutely lovely um my only problem with it was it was the hypnose and i wanted the hypnose 
doll eyes is that really picky it makes me sound so ungrateful i've got quite a few mascaras and i just thought if i have a mascara that i don't normally use and i know that i'm not going to use it it's just going to sit there and it's just going to go off so what i did was i decided to uh get a gift card with the value of it on I'm gonna put it towards a naked three palette maybe if I don't get it for my birthday which I hope I do because I really want the naked three palette looks amazing rose gold again and then I'm gonna also look on eBay to see if I can find the doll eyes um, set and if I get that then it's just like I did an exchange and I won't feel so guilty I didn't want to say anything at the time because it was a really well thought out gift I love Lancome as you may know so I was just like oh it was just 99% there so I'm still really grateful for it and um, they really excelled themselves and I think it was a great gift so if you're watching this I hope they're not now actually because it's gonna make me sound awful but if you are watching this uh, Paul and Lindsay thank you very very much moving on to the last of my gifts before I go into my boots haul I say the last of my gifts there's quite a few here because they were from my mum she got me a book called The Happiness Trap and this was actually on my Amazon wish list it's um, a psychology book I'm really into psychology I studied at AS level this is based on um, a technique called mindfulness which is helping you overcome stress anxiety and depression it's uh, basically about um, things that society dictate we should have in order for us to be happy or the things that we think we need in order to be happy and it's all about breaking the circle it's kind of hard to explain uh, I haven't started reading it yet but I'm going to um, but I was really interested uh, to see what kind of techniques it used it got really good reviews on Amazon so I'm really looking forward to reading that she also got me something else on my wish list and I was really excited when I opened this. I don't know if any of you saw it. Uh, the BBC broadcast it uh, last spring, I think it was, and it's the White Queen. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. It was on on Sunday nights and me and my mum used to really look forward to watching it with uh, just after I race with a glass of wine. It's really, really good. Uh, people have criticised it and there's loads of um, historical inaccuracies, but... Do you know what? Um, I didn't really mind. Um, the storylines were absolutely fantastic. Um, the acting was superb. Uh, the characters were really, really believable. I just absolutely loved everything about this. So I'm really looking forward to watching this again. But I'm really excited to have this. Um, I wanted it uh, quite badly. So thank you very much, Mum. As you might have seen, and if you read my blog you'll have seen this, um, you'll have heard all about it, I in fact um, posted an update about it in the last couple of days, the Boots Beauty Advent Calendar. Um, likes and dislikes about this, I'm going to link the blog post down below so you can read about it so I don't take up too much more time. Um, but it was really cool, it was really great to have a, a little surprise every morning when I woke up, it's like having a new Christmas present every morning, which is really cool. So um, she got me this as an early gift. She also got me a couple of things which I chose myself. I really wanted this sweater actually, um, and I wore it on Christmas day, it's really pretty. This is from Kaleidoscope I think, um, you can't really see it too well, I don't know, is that better? Um, it's a, a beautiful emerald green with sequins on, it's quite soft, um, it's just really really pretty on, doesn't really look a lot great on camera actually, but it is really nice, unfortunately of course, um, it is the kind of thing you're only going to wear on a special occasion, so I might wear it for my birthday uh, again, I don't know, but I really liked that, so that's really cool. Another thing that was on my Amazon wish list, which she got me was something that I uh, I quite wanted and don't laugh but this is one of the Playboy perfumes. I wear a couple of these and they're actually really really nice and they're not expensive either. I think this 50ml bottle was like a tenner or something like that which is really cool. Um, I don't love the packaging, the bottle's a little bit tacky uh, but do you know what, I, I, I could take the ears off and just have it like that I suppose but you know. I hadn't actually had a bottle of this perfume. I wanted the EDT, but I only had the body spray in the past. I think it came in a set, like, presumably for another Christmas. So I was really pleased with that. She also got me, I'm feeling really spoiled at the moment, uh, again, some shoes that I chose. These are from Iron Fist. Look at these. Look at those heels. This is mental. I wore these on Christmas Day, like I said, uh, just because they're so pretty and sparkly. Um, probably a little bit more versatile than... Uh, than the jumper. I say thank you very much. Okay, and the last lot of stuff that she bought me is something that you may have seen if you frequent boots quite a lot. Now, Soap and Glory, as you know, do a big, big um, 
gift set for Christmas every year. Um, they were actually the full, the Yule Monty, I think they were called this year. And uh, they were in boots. They're not, they were 60 quid. My mum and I added up actually all the stuff that was in it. They would have retailed at 78. And obviously then you get the bag with it. So that's really cool. I don't know what they did. They must have overstocked or people weren't buying them or something like that. Boots had them reduced down to 27 pounds. And this was just before Christmas. And I said to my mum, oh, they're such good value for money. Um, I couldn't justify buying it for myself at the time because I was buying Christmas presents and I was just like, I can't really spend that money on myself. I have bought a couple of Christmas presents for myself, which I'll show you in a second. So I was just like, I can't buy that as well. So under the tree on Christmas day, what do I unwrap? The Yule Monty gift set. As you can see, it comes in this really, really beautiful bag. It's really nice that it's not like the normal Safe and Glory print. It was designed by, I don't know, someone else. Uh, the first thing I find is I got £5 off Soap and Glory skincare when you spend £20, which is a bit of a shame because I don't really use Soap and Glory skincare that much, apart from one of the things that actually was in this box. So um, I got that voucher and I also got three samples of Make Yourself Youthful. I don't know whether it will do anything for my wrinkles that I am actually starting to get because I'm approaching middle age, but we will see. You also get 125 mils of hand food. I love this. Um, my only difficulty was when I looked at it last, I found it had parabens in. Um, I'm going to read the ingredients again. I may make an exception because this is really good. Um, but if you know me, you know that I try and avoid things with parabens and sulfates and things like that in where I can. Um, but I'm not religious about it. I also got Heel Genius. That's another 125ml tube. I normally use the Boots Foot Softening, their own brand, uh, which is really, really good. So I haven't actually tried Heel Genius yet. Um, so this will be good to try. Uh, other things I got were a massive thing of uh, Butter Yourself Moisture Lotion. It's got that free to go fragrance and I love this fragrance. So this is going to be really, really nice to use the uh, the free to go with Fruit, fruity goo the fruity go fragrance um there's was it the scrub of your life or there's there's a body scrub i don't know which it is which has got this fragrance and it's amazing so it would be lovely to use that and then use this afterwards this is another scrub this is i think is the normal uh the normal scent that's 200 mils or oh, the last one was i think 500 yeah the last one was 500 mils another 500 mil one is uh the sugar crush fresh and foamy body wash uh this smells incredible oh my god I like the smell of lime anyway this is kind of a sweet lime scent no, I'm gonna have to have a sniff now actually it's got lime oil kiwi juice water oh it just smells divine it smells so tropical um so this is going to be really 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 I also got the peaches and clean this is a 200 ml bottle I haven't even finished my last one yet but this is really really good I like using this in the shower it really really smells of peaches I think it was in one of my loving and loathings um a while back so that's really great there's still more coming this is ridiculous uh, the Righteous Butter, it's their classic uh, body butter, 300 mils of that. I think I've got a full tub, which I haven't even started yet. So I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> never going to get through all of this. Uh, and then two makeup products actually came in it as well. One was Six Sigma Parker XL Extreme Plump in pink out loud. I've not tried this yet. I've also not tried their Thick and Fast Super Volume Mascara. Mascara Super Volume. It's a nice, clean looking wand. Uh, not too wet. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to give that a go probably tomorrow, actually. That is all of the gifts that I got. I'm just going to show you what I got myself, actually. I saw a couple of things at Christmas and I couldn't really resist them. So I ended up getting them. And these are what they are. So I went into Primark just to get some tights like you do. And I ended up with socks, I ended up with tights. And I also ended up with this. This is a really cool studded purse with a little wristlet thing at the end of it. Uh, it's faux leather, but it's really soft. I really love this. I don't really have anything with studs on. So I was just like, yeah, sure, why not? It holds an awful lot, as you can see. It's pretty big. This is only eight quid. I have it in a whole wall of these. And I was like, yep, yeah, let's have one of those. So I really, really like that. This, I don't know if it's genuine because I bought it on eBay. Um, Henry Bendel is a really, really nice uh, New York brand. I can't afford it normally, but it was um, a little bangle that came in a Henry Bendel box like this. I don't really care if it's not genuine. It's a really pretty bangle. It's in there, it comes in with a little ribbon as well, which I might use for crafts. Um, as you can see, it's very bling. 
sort of Parve, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, Diamantes, Gems, whatever you like. Um, it's a hinged bangle. This is really pretty. I think it cost me like a tenner on eBay or something. I don't think many people bid for it. I've already worn this. Uh, it's really lovely. Very heavy. Um, so I was really pleased with that.